Welcome to the Success Journey Show. Let's travel together through the lives of individuals on the road to success. Hey, what's going on, travelers? It's your boy, Ricky Venters and Marlon Madden. Uh, how are you guys doing today? Marlon, what's good, bro? How are you doing today? Living a dream, buddy. Living the dream. Yeah, you know yeah, 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 yeah. How are you, you doing? Man. I'm good, man. As I was saying that, you know, the success journey show, welcome. Man, I was having flashbacks of, like, man, I remember I was in a hotel one time doing a show. I remember I was in the car one time recording the show. I remember yeah, <laughs> all over the, the place, hotel. man. Yep. Just recording the shows and making sure we get some the, the episodes out for the people. Yep. Um, yeah, dude, this has just been a, a phenomenal ride uh, and loving the journey so far. We're just getting started, man. Yeah, we are. 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 Let's get um, started. What's yeah, good on your end, man? Oh man, you know I'm just, I'm just, I'm just loving the the spot I'm in. Well, you know, not never comfortable, but loving where you're at right now. And um, you know, especially when you go up to the house, I know everybody been seeing it week after week. Yeah. I post something about the progress of the house, and it's just so crazy how, um, you know we brought somebody up there and the person was like, you know, I've always heard about real estate, but I've never seen actually been able to touch and mm. see the a progress and somebody that came up with us before and then they see it the next time. So, you know, we're just trying to permeate and send that thing in the air so that everybody just see that it's obtainable, you yeah, know? And, yeah, yeah, and now yeah. more than ever, I'm getting a lot of calls, real estate, info, um, people just asking me real estate information. And I, and, and I don't profess to be a guru. I'm not yeah. telling anybody I'm no guru, but I know what I've done. And I'm just saying, you share your story. That's it. This is my story. And this is what I can tell you. If you give me a scenario yeah. of where you're at financially and um, how, how can you could get in the game, I, I'll tell you, well, this is what I did, or, or this is how I think you can, um, you know, progress to where or owning properties or whatever the difference. And everybody got to understand, everybody's going to have a different way of doing something. There's, a, there's 5,000 ways to skin a cat. Yeah, and you yeah, talk to yeah. this person, you talk to Dave Ramsey, he says, don't have no debt. You talk to Kiyosaki, he says, let your debt work for you. You talk to uh, 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 um, uh, Tony Grant Robbins, Cardone. Yeah, Grant yeah. Cardone, uh, everybody's going to have a different thing to say, but you just got to find what works for you and, and just keep on using that or implement that or build upon it and just make sure that you get to your ultimate goal. So, yeah, I'm, I'm glad you said that, man, because I... Um on Instagram and there was a post that, that I, I, I stuck out to me. Let me let me see if I can pull it up here. Let's see if I can pull it up here. Because I was like, yes, yes, and come on now. All right, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I think it's I think it's ooh, okay, okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. Sorry, guys, but I got to find this thing. I got to find it. Share it with you. I do not have it. Don't worry. Right. Well, what are you looking for? Yeah, I yeah. my mouth. <laughs> I, I do it well. I do it well. I run my oh, mouth. Man. Man. <laughs> yeah, oh, so my if, goodness. If everybody here is one, wondering um, what's going on with the progress of the house, of course, we've put in the um, – we've done some framing. We've done some, we've done, all the duct work is done and all the plumbing is done. Electrical starts tomorrow. And um, of course we pre-record. So whatever you see this, that's the progress that we use or, or the advantage or, or the system we use to complete the house. And then um, next is sheet rocking and flooring and all the different stuff. And then, you know, we just get some tenants in there. We have our own plan but we don't only have even in real estate you can you can have multiple income or streams of income within real estate mm -hmm. what did you mean you could you could buy and hold um you could rent uh meaning buy and hold or some people buy and hold and not even rent because they don't want the headache so case in point somebody goes to detroit and says i'm going to buy a house for four thousand five hundred dollars i'm just going to pay the tax every every year, which is 700 or a thousand dollars even. And I'm just going to hold the property till the value of the, the property goes to where I want to sell it, or I could fix it up and make the profit that I want. So you have that strategy for a buy and hold. 
Um, that's somebody that's doing long term. You have somebody that's saying they're flipping. You have somebody saying, hey, I'm going to buy multiple units. So you have a lot of different uh, strategies, even within real estate that you can use to diversify your real estate portfolio, even though it's still within the umbrella of real estate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, I thought I was going to be able to find it. I'm going to make sure I find it for the next episode. Um, yeah, it was just, it just it hit me. And I want to give it to you guys exactly the way that um, I read it. I don't, I don't even want to paraphrase that joint. So stay tuned for the next episode because you will get a <laughs> clip <laughs> of uh, <laughs> something that hit me hard this week. Something that hit me hard this week. But um, yeah, dude, um, you, you're so right, man. I'm, I'm glad you're sharing that information. A lot more people are, you know, asking me. And, I, and you know, I'm, I'm just learning as we go along. Um, you know, I actually bought a couple of books here, which I do have in front of me. Um, I got, uh, uh, the millionaire, the multifamily millionaire, um, yep. right here. This book was just released, um, okay. bigger pockets, the author of bigger pockets, Brandon Turner. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. and then also I got, uh, the multifamily millionaire. One was creating general wage wealth with small family multifamily investing as this one here and then this one right here volume two this was large um real estate investment so that's uh, all from bigger pockets huh yeah 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 so, all from bigger, so pockets. bigger hey, hey bigger pockets i don't know if you're ever gonna stumble upon us or whatever we're pushing it we're yeah pushing yeah, yeah you know what i'm saying yeah, i push yeah. your product a lot the bird <laughs> process all that kind of stuff so you might want to have us on the show I'm yeah might, right. I'm, I'm I might just uh send you an act on this uh, on this episode. Yeah right. They um yeah phenomenal. I haven't even read, haven't even read them yet. I just got them uh, today. So okay. Uh, yeah, excited about cracking into them and just learning. So but yeah guys, we are uh, we're here. Um, we uh, really appreciate your love support over the years, over the weeks, uh, all the reviews and comments. Um, I want to thank you for just tuning in to each episode and just. Uh, leaving your feedback, uh, laughing with us, uh, joking with us, whatever it may be. Uh, just always want to remind you to go to our website, the Success Journey Show, and you can find all of our previous episodes as well as uh, any of our paraphernalia, um, shirts, uh, uh, bags. Say, bags, you know, books. Wait, this whatever. is coming. This is still coming. We're it's coming. Later. Yeah, it's coming. I, I uh, use this a lot, though. Yeah. So yeah, it's uh, yeah, all the stuff is here, guys, for you um, just to be a part of this journey with us. So listen, we are going to go to the next segment of the show, the show, the part that everyone loves when we sit down and talk with a guest about their journey. So here we go. Hey guys, I'm telling you the best portion of our show. And you know what's good about this season is Ricky saying, Marlon, you can go ahead and introduce people. I feel like I'm moving you up. Can like, oh, you can yeah, do it. You can do it. You can do it. Right? <laughs> Next, you're going to start introducing the show. I'm going to get you yeah. I'm gonna get you to that point. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, I feel honored. But yeah. today we have a very special guest with us. All right. Um, Colleen Vasselet. I said it right? You did, man. You did. All right. Hey, I speak a little bit of French and petit peu de français, so you know, um, I, I can't I can't make my people in Canada kill me if I pronounce your name wrong. But we would like you to go ahead and just introduce yourself and tell the our our, our travelers a little bit about yourself. Okay, well, I'm a traveler myself, so thank yeah. you for uh, welcoming me to your podcast, your journey. Um, so, as Marlon said, I'm Colleen Basilet. I am the president of Intrigue Design. We're a landscape architecture firm. I started the company whew, almost eight years ago. Yeah, eight years ago. And um, throughout that time, I mean, even throughout my career, it's been a lot of steps to get me there. And um, everyone always asks, like, is that something that you, you've always wanted to do? Because some people are like, ah, oh, it just happened. Um, for me, it was like laser focus. Like, I, I want to run a company someday. Uh, I definitely come mm. from a family of entrepreneurs, not legacy. Everyone has done their own thing. It's like, maybe we could get in line <laughs> to our, like, do it all together. But, um, you know, I'm the oldest of uh, uh, three siblings. So it was just kind of venture out on your own. And um, anyway, we can get into more of the journey as we go yeah. along. But right. yeah, I own Intrigue Design. I also um, purchased another company two years ago 
just sure. a little bit prior to the pandemic. And um, it was actually my first boss's company. It was an, another landscape architecture firm. So mm. we've got that under our umbrella right now. We're growing. Um, the pandemic was a little interesting to weather, but since then we've come back and, uh, you know, we're, we're up in sales and over 200%. So we're, we're coming out oh, wow. strong through it. Yeah. Wow, and wow. Um, uh, aside from uh, intrigue, I am um, a mom. So I have two little ones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and I told them, I tried explaining to them tonight what I was doing. And they're like, is it like a radio? I was like, yeah, it's like a radio show. <laughs> That's where mom is going. So, so yeah, I'm a mom. As you mentioned too, I teach at University of Maryland. I'm very passionate about um, the field of landscape architecture and, and having people understand what that is, being an environmental steward. Um, so, you know, the, the teaching is, is more just a, a passion of give back and, and give back to the, my alma mater, essentially. Yeah. Um, and then just a little side stuff. I do a little chicken farming and, and beekeeping. Uh, just yeah, the, we gotta get into that. Right, man. It touches everything yeah. now. This is good. Just, hey. like, yeah, a little renaissance action. <laughs> yeah, right. No, I love it. So yeah. Colleen, just before we get going really into it, why don't you share with everyone at, you know at a high level what is a landscape architect? Like what what is exactly. your role yeah. in and what you do? So that takes me a whole course to teach. So I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> a whole semester. Um, no, it, so it's funny because sometimes it depends on who I'm talking to. And, you know, some people ask, are you really busy in the summer? Because like things are growing at that time. And I'm like, well, you know, it's design. So I don't do install. I'm not out there, um, you know, digging holes, putting in trees. I have done mm -hmm. that before. I grew up, um, my father's a landscape contracting firm. So I, I did work for him, you know, growing up through high school and college. But a landscape architect is someone that comes in and does, you know, the kind of visioning, the design. So I'll give you a couple of examples. So a couple of different projects we're working on right now is, um, you know, especially if you're from the Baltimore area, you've definitely heard of the Port Covington development going on. Mm -hmm. It's it'll be the new Under Armour headquarters. So we're working on two of the buildings there. So we work with mm. teams like architects, engineers, mechanical, electrical, plumbing, um, to get a design together, taking it through all those permittings and things like that, and see it to the built the built stature. So that's one we're working on. We work on park projects. We've got another one if we, if we go directed towards the city. I'm um, working with Silver Arboretum to develop a nature education center. So mm. again, um, it's it's a different that's a different ball game, like going from park to to something that's more um, urban and city. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, hopefully that gives you a little bit of sense of of the different projects. No, absolutely, absolutely, man. I'm I'm really intrigued by your story no pun, <laughs> no pun intended no pun. Right, right, right. And you get a lot of publicity it's you're like is that a company oh <laughs> uh, and and your your story because you know you said that you come from you know a lot a lot of entrepreneurs within your family you yeah. mentioned your father had a landscaping a landscaping uh, contracting, contracting company, company. Yeah. that's where you started getting your experience mm -hmm. so you said you always kind of had it in your mind hey i want to own a company one day you know yeah. what made you pick landscape architecture architecture yeah I, well i think it was a derivative of what my father does so my father yeah. um growing up had a sawmill and then that became like a nursery and then it, now it's a landscape contracting company so i grew up just working for him when i was even i mean obviously i wasn't child labor but when i was like <laughs> seven years old he picked me up from i don't know what grade you're at that time like first grade six, yeah and I would sit at the front desk and if people would come in, I'd say, may I help you? Like, um, you know, directing them. So it was kind of like second nature. I'm like, I'm in it, you know, I'm in the game. And um, it just, yeah, I think it was a lot of that experience seeing him build something from nothing was pretty incredible. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so the contracting company, yeah, he built from scratch and um, it just, it's something I'm like, wow, I think that's something neat to, to make something. And yeah. um, my husband is great. He's, uh, he always keeps in mind when I have like down periods of like, what am I doing? And he's like, you <laughs> built, you built something and you need to think about that because you're actually providing livelihood for several other people. 
And he's like, you need to keep that in mind. Like you've got something going and other people, not that they depend on me. I mean, they've got their own lives and situations, What's but that? you're actually creating livelihoods for, for other people. And that's what small business does. And that's why I'm a big proponent of, of small business. And Correct. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, so I love it. I love oh, it. Yeah. So I do have a I have an interesting story. Um, Go ahead. This, this, love this, it. Yeah. This makes me sound a little old, but um, so at my first job, like I said, I, I was like, you know, I, I want to have this company. I want to, I want to have a company. And so I created a little manila folder as my friend calls them vanilla folders. Cause they're vanilla colored. Like, yeah. 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 Anyway. <laughs> um, so anyway, I had this little file with a manila folder and I would, I, I was putting ideas in there for my company one day and it was oh, wow. my company. And um, at my first job, they had these really cool like fax memos. And so, I asked the boss, I'm like, hey, could I keep one of these? And he's like, yeah, why? Okay. <laughs> like, because it's like really great. And like I was wanted to use it as a template so that one day I could fax things. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, I'm a I'm gonna tell you. So uh, yes, I've been in the military for a while, but I ha I started a company in uh, 2006, right? Yeah. Not an enterprise LLC after my last name. And um, it was no greater feeling than when I had that first fax machine that I had to plug into my line, right? And yeah. then you had to send the paper through and you heard <laughs> all that stuff and you had to get across. You're right. I'm like, yeah. man, I, I'm faxing stuff, man. I'm a businessman. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love it. So, so you, I, I, man, it's just amazing. So you walked in your first job saying, hey, I'm going to own my own company one day, right? Yeah, so, which actually, I own that company too now. So. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, that's wow. crazy. That's, that's the one you bought out just two years ago, right? Yeah. Wow. wow. Can I ask you this? So did, when you got your first job, were, did you feel restricted or were you like, I, it's solidified. I definitely have to have my own company now. Yeah, I, well... The only reason I loved that job, and yeah, I think I, I just outgrown where I wanted to be. And if they weren't going to let me develop more, then I moved on. And um, yeah, I think actually I made a lot of strategic moves because as a landscape architect, I didn't want to get pigeonholed into just doing like one Perfect. facet of it, like doing yeah. construction documents, doing only residential. So every move was like, I'm at this firm, I'm doing awesome work, but I'm ready to grow. So now I'm going to get in with a firm that it's a guy, one guy starting a new firm, building it from the ground up. I'm like, that's a great opportunity to see how a company is actually built. built what is yeah. he going to do with it? And he took me along for that journey. So that was great. Um, then I moved to a big firm so I could see that kind of action of what's going on. Okay. And then I did design build for a while. So I got that like construction background. So that was great. And then I worked for an architecture firm I was part of like the LA department, which is only two people. And um, I really thought maybe we could, could grow that, but it just seemed like more, I was just gonna stay kind of support. And that was kind of the catalyst was like, okay, this is something that I, I think now I can like spread those wings, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> now, I, so you got, I mean, I'm glad you told us that progression because that was a, exactly the story we wanted to pull out of you because you know, when you got to that point now, in your mind this whole time, you're like, I'm on this journey. I know I want to have my own company. I'm strategically going to having different experiences yeah. that are well, well rounded uh, yeah. in the industry. Um, but you got to that point, you were like, hmm, this is it. This is, it's time to, like you said, spread my wings and fly. Yeah. How, how did that feel? What did it feel freeing? Was it intimidating? Was it like, was it, it fresh? what you were going through at that time oh i ate it up because like here's yeah. the thing when you when you do something like that I, I think you just have to ask your question like a question to yourself is like what's the worst that could happen what is the worst that could happen uh i fail i don't have to, you know i gotta go get a job like that's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and at the time i felt really pretty marketable um i felt like i could get a job so i'm like the worst that could happen and if I think you have that mindset, it's not like plan B, uh, but it's also not like there's no going back. I don't have a plan B because if I have yeah, a plan yeah. B, it won't succeed. There, I don't buy into all of that. <laughs> yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah. So I just said, okay, what is the worst? The worst that could happen? 
I can't do it. But I was like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to get out and hustle. And um, I think that is the, the thing that sometimes, you know, people, I, you know, I talked to a lot of people thinking about starting a company or, you know, mentoring them that they have started that company. And it's not so much just like hang your shingle out and people are just going to give you work. You know, you, you got to hit the pavement. Um, Correct. Mm-hmm. You've got to hustle. <laughs> so I think, you know, just gearing up for knowing that I created a whole network. And so when I got out, I'm like, Hey guys, I'm out. I'm available. Um, yeah. So do some work. Yeah. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I love it. I love, I love it. it. Yeah. And so, Oh, go ahead, Rick. I know you have a follow up to your question, Rick. No, I was going to shift gears. So go ahead, man. No, no. I just wanted to kind of shift in gears too. Now, a lot of people, <laughs> a lot of people that, they, they, it's just like marriage, right? The idea of marriage, a lot of people love it. Oh, I want to have the big wedding and then we're going <laughs> yeah. to go on the honeymoon and he's going to carry me through the thing and, and, and we're going to have, have the white picket fence and, and then they get into marriage and find out that that person, there's some arguments and you can't say, bye, okay, whatever, I'm leaving. You're there stuck, right? So with the business, a lot of people want to have, love the idea of owning a business. But what really comes, what, just break down to somebody your day-to-day, what entails going out for those contracts to say, okay, I'm going to, I'm under, under, I'm, I'm working with Under Armour. How do I obtain that contract? And how do I have the credentials to go to obtain that contract? So do, those things, that, can you just break it down for travelers yeah. so they understand? So I, I will say, so our firm is a WBE, that's Women Business Enterprise. Um, I think programs like that for small companies like mine are very helpful and important. I, I don't think we base our business off of being a WBE. Um, mm-hmm. We're qualified. We have lots of private contracts and things like that before using it. But to get us to that next level where we wanted to go bigger contracts, more recon- recognizable places, like you're saying, like Port Covington, we, it's very recognizable. Um, I think that was our foot in the door. Um, and it took a while. There's like, I don't know what it was with me, like a pride thing. I was like, I don't need that. <laughs> but mm. someone told me like, why not? It's just, it doesn't mean that you're not um, that you're just you you're less qualified I don't, yeah you're not qualified well, or you're just skilled. getting handouts it, that's <laughs> not what it is um, I think it helps just get your foot in the door and earn that project so um, mm-hmm. that is something that's helped get us to that 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 next level um, yeah because I mean I think when these projects are awarded a lot of times these bigger projects go to an architect or an engineer where they don't know my little company and how do you get in the door? So sometimes yeah. when those set asides are applied, they say, okay, who's, who qualifies for that? And there's a group of us now. And I think you still have to kind of win, you know, show you're qualified and show that you can do the work and shortlist and interview and all of that. Um, so yeah, interviewing, I think is a big, you know, you got, you got to know your stuff, right? Yeah. 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 But, I'm sorry, I took us down a little bit of a different track. But no, I, no, 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 you're good, you're good, you're good. Yeah, you're good. I think good. the WBE, the MBE, um, it, it is helpful in that essence of, of getting, and it did help us get to that next echelon. No, mm. love it. Yeah. Talk, talk to us about just the, maybe, maybe some challenges along the road, you know, maybe, maybe you know, things that you put into your, your envelope uh yeah. you know that you pull that's like vanilla hey, not gonna work yeah yeah <laughs> vanilla envelope you know, <laughs> that, that, it it, like, it, i think he honestly <laughs> thought that's what they were called the vanilla folder and i was like <laughs> what? What? in that office we had those and then we had red ones and blue ones and specific things went in each yeah yeah so, Excuse me, vanilla, vanilla. <laughs> you guys are gonna use that now. Yeah, the vanilla envelope. Exactly, exactly. Uh, yeah, t- talk about times when you pulled out that dream and like, oh, that's not gonna work, or you know, like, what, what was I thinking here, or how oh, I have to make a pivot here or there based on this situation. Share with some of our travelers some of those decisions you had to make. You don't have to go yeah. in depth, but. Yeah. I mean, the, pan, the pandemic was definitely like, I think it got mm, all Talk about it. Yeah, talk about and, it. And, you know, someone said to me while we were going through it, like, oh, we're, you know, we're all in the same boat. 
like we are not all the same but we're, we are in the same storm we are all in different boats and no one ha- is coping or dealing with it and um if you haven't noticed i like being with people i'm kind of like extrovert uh so yeah. the pandemic for me like I still came to the office every day all, <laughs> all by myself. And I have one of those, this, this little private TMI, I have one of those robots, those um, vacuum robots. Yeah, and yeah. He and I became like friends. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's what's, the name, what's, what's the name of the robot? Go ahead, share with us. I, I literally think it's one of those Roombas or something, or whatever. Uh, I, 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 know, I, I thought you, I thought you gave it a name. Like I thought you gave it a name. Yeah, I thought it, you gave it a name. It's like my Wilson, essentially. Uh, right? Oh, there you go. Yeah, Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take that. Um, no, but I mean, yeah, that was that was definitely um, a challenge, just mentally, because I'm like, you're isolated. You're totally isolated, and you're not sure mm. which contracts are going to not come through there were a lot that just froze they still haven't come mm. back around mm-hmm. um so that that's yeah that's <laughs> that was yeah. um and i think I, I don't, it did bring our team closer together because i think you just had to figure out how to lead with empathy because everyone else was going through different things maybe some people were um, you know, a little more compromised towards the COVID or just had some family stuff issues going on or this or that. And, and the only way to communicate is what we're doing right now is the Zoom thing. And we just had to have a lot of empathy for each other. So that kind of got us through. I think that was a challenge. Um, I think beginning challenges was we started the office in my house. <laughs> so, mm. And I had just had... I just had, well, I was going to say like two years in, I had my first child and then like four, five years in, I had my second. So there was one point where I was looking at hiring another person and um, she's like, where am I going to sit? And at that point, like I've got (laughs) kid, nanny, dog walker, cleaning, like everyone in the house. And I'm like, I have no space for myself. Um, And like I said, I like people being around, but I think, um, you know, if, not that an office legitimizes you, but it's, it, it kind of, again, it's like climbing those next echelon ring, yeah, you know, rungs yeah. of a ladder. So yeah. Um, yeah. we have lots of stories of the, all the team members know my kids real well. And apparently like I got pizza for everyone and my son at two years old, you know, three, <laughs> like went into the office like, Hey, can you snag me a slice? And like, you know, <laughs> the boss's son sure <laughs> like, should, we give, should we have given him a slice of pizza where's the nanny yeah you know, yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um i think the split between um personal and, and business life is a necessity too so for those of yeah. you also looking to be um you know on that traveling success journey sometimes you need to split it and just have your your personal life too i think i lost that a bit Mm. Um, while the office was in the house gotcha mm. gotcha yeah. yeah gotcha now so. now i know i know it sounds to me because of your other endeavors that you have some acreage at your house you would be surprised i have one acre oh wow yeah wow you do a, you 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 definitely are a landscape architect because you do well with that one you maximize it yeah um bees yeah and a chicken and chickens well, chicken. yeah and kids growing kids too man <laughs> <laughs> vegetables you just grow it all <laughs> oh my goodness talk to us about that, that endeavor what made you want to get into the bees and the and the yeah chicken? Well, okay. So as a landscape architect, inherently you are an environmental steward. That's kind of what you sign up for. You're a designer and everything, you know, that glam part of it, I guess, if there is a glam part of being a landscape architect. But um, (laughs) I believe, you know, you're an environmental steward and um, it's just part of our kind of mission or vision we have for the company is if we're going to talk the talk, you should walk the walk. And I'm not saying Mm -hmm. everyone on the team has to go out and hug a tree or become like a, a V, I'm not vegan, I, I, I eat meat, but- um, Chicken, 
Chicken. Chicken. I do eat chicken. <laughs> I do. I <laughs> um, yeah, but I just, we want to be authentic saying like, if you should plant all natives, you know, here's what we're doing. And I do it personally too. And then mm-hmm. that's like a kind of walk, we would call it just walk the talk. And um, I do find that everyone that works here, we're a small firm, but we've just, everyone kind of buys in. Like, if you're going to work here, like you got to buy into all of that. Um, yeah. And uh yeah, I mean, I think we all do. So part of it is, you know, especially from the all the studies that just came out recently with uh, climate change, and, and I, I think if all of us just do a little small part, um, mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. helpful. And so I'm just doing my small part, and um, and plus there's nothing better than fresh eggs. If I oh, you, you're so right. Time, I'm bringing you guys some fresh eggs. Yeah, um, yeah. It's wonderful. It's really wonderful. No. So, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You can do happen. honey and all that stuff too, huh? Some honey. I think the bees are difficult in a in, uh, more developed area just because there's lack of habitat, there's pesticides, or all that kind uh, of stuff. So yeah, yeah, yeah. In the win- they have to overwinter. So they need that honey to, to overwinter. So we, we mostly leave it for them. Um, you know, sometimes okay. we're lucky and we have a good year, but um, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, no. That- I love it. No, I love it. Yeah, Man, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 this is great because, you know, um, we're able to see a lot of different dynamics of, of your life and, and what you're sharing because, you know, a lot of business owners, uh, especially small, small companies, just some that have just started, some that have been established. Um, a lot of times what we try to show our travelers is that, you know, and like you say, you know, there, there is a work life, there is life outside of work, there's a journey on both ends. In order to be successful at both things, you say you're a mother, you know, you, you have the, 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 I mean, having chickens and having bees at the house is another whole task uh, at hand as well. You know, yeah. uh, your wife, you know, all these different things, your business owner, uh, you have people that are looking to you in terms of leadership um, and, and your office and you have all these different things. Is there ever a time where, you know, you, you look at, or let me, I'll put it this way. What do you do on as a routine on a regular basis just to kind of keep everything in check, everything flowing in the right direction as much as you can, as much as yeah. we can control? Um, so I, I sleep like a minimal amount. And mm. <laughs> so like what's that sleep. minimal amount? Share with us. What's that minimal amount? Like six hours. So, okay. 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 So, uh, there's, uh, so there's a couple people, and it's weird. We do a... Um, a yearly retreat with my team in a mid-year and it's all it's me like pepping everybody up how's everybody checking in for the year what do we have planned um it's a good kind of like let's reset if we need to what are your goals and so I think the team like knows by now I always bring this whole thing about Arnold Schwarzenegger he's he's my jam man like I when I need to get pumped up for something there's this like YouTube video it's like his six rules of success I don't know if you guys have ever listened to it but it's got this no. like music behind it. It's got his muscles and you're just like, I am pumped. Like if I have a big pitch presentation, <laughs> I listen to that. So anyway, where I'm going with this is <laughs> one of his rules for success is work your butt off. And so he talks about, you know, if, it, uh, you know, if you're sleeping, there's always going to be someone out, uh, else, else out there that's up and he, they're just getting ahead of you. Right. So he's like, here's what I would do. We have 24 hours in the day. This is a quote pretty much from him. There's 24 hours in the day. He's like, you sleep six, you've got 18 hours to like, just get it done. And um, when he's giving the speech, someone says to him, but, but you know, like I need like eight or nine out, you know, eight, nine hours. And he retorts back. He's like, well, just sleep faster. I would say. (laughs) (laughs) It's like always stuck with me. Like, I love that. I'm like, oh yeah, just gotta sleep faster. That's what Arnold would do. But, um, I, you know, there's this book, uh, Miracle Morning. I don't, I don't know if you guys okay. have ever read it. No, 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 no. It's literally just about getting up like that extra hour early. And if you could get up at five, if you could go to bed and tell yourself, this is all the sleep I need. I'm going to wake up and feel rested. It's like a mind trick, I think, but um, it does help and it, it, and it just helps, you know, and there's some days, obviously I sleep in, but, um, yeah. you know, yeah. you just got to get up and get it done. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, so five, so five, five o'clock is your time. That, that's yeah. your, yeah. okay. 
Yeah. My husband's even earlier. He's crazy. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Four, four thirty work out, get to work. Yeah. He's a husband wow. too. What, what does your husband do? He's the, um, he's the, the CFO and VP of a manufacturing company. So they make labels for like Yingling beer, Heinz ketchup, McCormick spice. Um, oh. so he's the number two at the company. And, um, the other thing I will say is he also is my CFO. So he's, oh, wow. he's a busy, busy man. And um, that I think is part of my success as well is that, um, you know, that song from Beaches, The Wind Beneath My Wings? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. That's him. That's him, okay. man. He, he doesn't look for credit. He doesn't like to be like, you know, picture anywhere or whatever. Yeah. And um, he's awesome. And he's my support. And I think it's, it would be hard for me to see intrigue be intrigue without him. So, mm. um, yeah. I, I love it. I yeah. love it, man. You guys yeah. hear that travelers just, the uh, man, we try to show the whole journey. We try to show, you know, the different dynamics of it. And I mean, I love what you just said right there. We had another uh, guest a couple of weeks ago sharing some, pretty much the same thing. It's like, you know, you, you go, 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 but it, you can go so much further when you have that partner to, run with you you know and support you yeah. in that so really 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 uh, uh happy to hear that you know yeah. you one thing that we did not ask and i want to go back to this because we said it multiple times yeah. intrigued like where did that name come from i'm from yeah yeah uh, okay it probably was a night of like lots of wine and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> i will tell you why because i had it I, i've had this thing in my head for a while when I finally went to start the company, I go to like, um, you know, the first thing you got to do is get a website, right? So I'm yep. like, all right, got to get this website going. Uh, I go to GoDaddy, type in what I want, Intrigue Design, and like someone else has it. I'm like, ah, oh, what? Like, this is, no, this can't happen. <laughs> so you can like look up who, who owns yes. it or buy it from them. So I look yeah. it up. It's me. I have it. I'm like, <laughs> oh wow! It was from it was from my old Hotmail account. I was like registered to a Hotmail. Like, what? Who uses Hotmail anymore? Anyway, so this guy. Um, yes. Oh my goodness! Yeah, <laughs> say that again. Who uses Hotmail anymore? Oh my goodness! I'm sorry, Marlon. Hey, it has my first and last name, so I kept it. This is Marlon Madden at Hotmail You can do the same thing on Gmail, man. <laughs> I apologize, Marlon. No, you're good. You're good. You're good. Ricky <laughs> tells me all the time, "Who the heck has Hotmail?" Not... Still? <laughs> but yes. <laughs> yeah, I think it's AOL too. No, good. No. So yeah, so 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 you owned Intrigue. So go ahead, finish that. This story sounds real fun. Yeah, well, it was because I did not remember doing it, and then it like clicked wow. all of a sudden. It was like, oh yeah, I was hanging out with someone. We were talking about something. I'm like, I got this name, and they're like, oh, that's 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 awesome. Like, I like it. It kind of embod like you know it embodies what you do. It's got the tree in the middle, and they were an IT oh, person. Like so there, this was like eight years prior. They're like, you got to register that. Like I said, this was like a Friday, Saturday night. I had lots yeah. of wine, and I think he did it for me. Like he's like, give me your credit card. Let's do it. And that's why I think I don't remember. I didn't physically do it. Um, but yeah, I I had the website, and the the idea behind it though is I I think you see a lot of companies that. Um, a lot of design studios that's like so-and-so design studios or something and when there's two sides to it when we're designing for someone whether it's residential or community or something it's I don't have like a big ego that the design needs to be about me or have my name on it um, mm -hmm. and then on the flip side my team is my team and we're a team together. So you'll never hear me call someone, one of my employees. I always refer to them as a team member, just Remember. like you refer to your travelers as travelers, right? They're, right? they're my team, they're my team members. So I don't want it to be my name pasted everywhere. I want it to be about us as a whole, us as a cl like collaboration, us collaborating with our clients. So, um, mm -hmm. and we want them to be intriguing spaces. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yes, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I love so that, that was that's, kind that's of a the, great story. You know, the idea behind it. Yeah, that's a great story. Yeah. So, so Colleen, we, you know, we asked a lot of our guests, we got, we gotten away from it this past, this episode here, but I'm trying to get back to a little bit more in terms of 
uh, we, we call it, what do we call it? The uh, flashback or whatever it is. Retrospect. Retrospect, yeah, the retrospect, right? So um, we give you a scenario of, and I, based off your story, I, I, I pick a point in your story to go back to. Um, and I'm going to go back to the Colleen when you first started your, your first job, not the one with your father when he had you doing the uh, child labor. Child labor. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to go to that one. <laughs> we'll go to uh, your first job as a landscape architect. And, you know, you're, when you're gathering all your ideas and all that kind of stuff, you know, yeah. if you could go back to her and have like two minutes with her, um, just to say anything, you know, what, what would you say to her? Oh, um, you had a good run. <laughs> it's like a really good, like I had a good time. I think I could have been farther along than I, I was maybe. Um, cause I definitely had fun in my like twenties and, into my 30s. <laughs> um, but I think that's part of the process though so maybe I would say you did a good job like don't change anything because everything mm. that takes you on each one of those paths was it got me to where I am now so mm. um, you know maybe I would have said be a little more focused <laughs> not so footloose and fancy free <laughs> um, but I think people like always like that about me I, I think um it, you know I mean that's why I think I was able to get so many different jobs and kind of work my way into places yeah um but uh, I think I would tell her to um keep that spirit going because she had mm. it so you know proud of her. yeah, <laughs> no, yeah. Love, it, love it so, yeah. so are you trying to grow intrigue to be um, you know, of course, everybody, I don't know what your dream is for intrigue. What, what, what's your dream? What's your ultimate dream for intrigue? Yeah. I mean, we hit the milestone I was shooting for this year. So that's good. So mm -hmm. now we got to hit the next. So like, what, how do we now recalibrate and set the next milestone? So I think, mm -hmm. um, you know, we're at eight people right now, which is decent okay. size for a landscape architecture firm. Typically you see, um, like we have a, there's a big firm and I used to work for them in the city and they probably have like 40 people. That's, yeah. I don't, I don't know if I want to get that big, but maybe like, you know, 20, 22 people, I think could be, could be good. Okay. Um, and I think we've, we talked about it. So I have an advisory board, which I think has been super helpful for me to really focus and have accountability. Um, and I, I tell them where I want to go. Like that's my next milestone to get to, that and the questions they have like what does that mean for your company as a dynamic like are you still going to be doing everything that you, you're doing now are you still having all those touches with the clients with your team what does that look like and I haven't I haven't figured out like written out like what that looks like that's probably my next kind of for our next you know advisory board meeting or maybe like 2022 possibly so um yeah I mean I think I want to keep doing community projects. We do a lot of give back at our firm. So I, I want to make sure that we're still having that in our minds. Um, we had a wonderful um, intern from Heart Smiles this past summer. Mm. And I mean, she was only 15. She was amazing. And I don't know if you've heard of that group. No, There's Heart Smiles. I, I've, I've Heart heard Smiles. Of it, yeah. So it's, it's a group run um, by a woman called Joni Hol Holyfield. She works with like disconnected youth in the city, helping them become young entrepreneurs, young leaders. And um, I connected with them through um, the um, Bloomberg School of Public Health via mm -hmm. Go the Goldman Sachs alumni. Yeah. And um, so that's been a group we've been working with here and there, mentoring. So, she, you know, she just jumped right in, just great. And I, I love her spirit. I think, you know, I see some of that, that spirit I had in her. And I am excited to give people like that, like a hand up. Cause I, I don't think I had that. I didn't have someone that gave me like that direction. And I don't think yeah. there were all these like mentorship programs, like formal programs when I was trying oh, to definitely, my way. Yeah, definitely yeah. didn't have it when I was coming up, you know, it's no, just, yeah. nothing. <laughs> Start <laughs> nothing. seeing a lot of them now. Figure it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I think there's, there's two sides to that coin. You have to figure it out on your own and that makes you mm -hmm. scrappy. It makes you scrappy, right? Yep. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we have a lot of just programs. Sign up for the program. We'll help you book. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, I think yeah. that's good, but also um, 
Mm, and don't make that person. Yeah, I don't understand what you're saying. It's a, it's a catch twenty two yeah. because you could a person now more dependent on a program to get them to the next level versus their scrap. Yeah. Figure it out. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, yeah. Love it. So, is there a place before we let you go? Is there a place where any of our listeners can go to, uh, whether maybe need to secure your services uh, for yeah. landscaping? Uh, why don't you share your, your website uh, or any other information they can you, you would like to share at this point sure 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 um it's intrigue designs with an s.com mm -hmm. um definitely check out our blog it's called the cohort um okay. we play on horticulture and group of cohorts um so we put a newsletter out if you're if anyone's interested and then yeah you can find me on linkedin colleen basilay um, love it. yeah love to connect love with people so nah, definitely love Love it. Well, well, Colleen, we want to thank you so much for being uh, a guest on our show today. I, I know our travelers took so much and just hearing your journey, um, starting from a, a child, uh, really get, shaping that mindset of, hey, I want to become an entrepreneur one day. And instead of starting your job, you know, just excited about having a job, you were thinking about, hey, how do I take bits and pieces from here and build up to have my own one day? And now you're supplying uh, opportunities for others. Um, uh, amazing mother, uh, 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 wife, all, all that coming together uh, and making an impact in the local community. So man, your, your story is just so spectacular. We want to encourage you to get, keep moving, keep growing. Uh, definitely will follow up for those eggs you mentioned on the show. Uh, and uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, absolutely. And um, we hope and wish you the best as your company continues to grow from stages to stages. So uh, all of our travelers out there, uh, we want to thank you as well for just tuning in again for another week on the Success Journey Show. We would not be here uh, without you. Uh, we come every single week just hoping that we give you another, a little, another piece of motivation, inspiration through the stories that we share and the guests that we bring on. And hey, if you have anyone that you want us to interview, uh, give us a shout out. You know our email. You know our website. Go to the SuccessJourneyShow.com. Uh, leave a comment, leave a review, go to any podcast platform. If you're not looking at this on YouTube um, and you can listen to this while you're driving, uh, I don't suggest that you watch it while you're driving on YouTube. So uh, <laughs> we will definitely see you guys next week at the same time in the same place. We want to let you know we love you and we'll see you guys later. Everyone have a good one. Peace. All right, one love. You've been listening to the Success Journey Show, where your dreams, drive, determination, and diligence are the foundation to success. For more information, check out thesuccessjourneyshow.com. The Journey Squad is here helping you to your destination.